All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 1. It says, The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts must with the hosts of the battle. All right. First off, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, Basha Rakakwadash, the ones to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole for the elect. This is Brother Desiwan, another with another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And this was Isaiah 13, 1 through 4. <clears throat> now this burn of Babylon saw by the prophet Isaiah is the coming future plagues and destruction upon America, which is known as the spiritual Babylon or Babylon the Great. <clears throat> and that banner that he was lifting up was the word of the Lord. And that's what we lift up today. The word of the Lord, the prophets today, GMS, we exalt the word of the Lord to the point that the nobles of this society, the elites of this world, um, are getting shook. So the Lord sanctified ones, which are the prophets and his angels, they're rejoicing in the power of the Lord because what's going on now is Yahweh Bashmi Shai is gathering the nations together for the war to end all wars, or what's known in the scriptures as the War of Armageddon, or what's known also known as uh, World War III. And there's been a numerous amount of news reports <coughs> coming out uh, just within the last week, okay, of different tensions and, 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 and skirmishes and strategic military uh, uh, maneuvers by the major players in the world, such as the U.S., Russia, China, Iran, Israel, Syria, okay? <clears throat> and they're all, gathering, they're all gathering themselves centered around the Middle East, okay? And this is the, the, the Heavenly Father's work, all right? This is His doing. He's the one that's bringing these nations together, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a couple of headlines, Let's see. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to read a couple of headlines. All right. Just to, to show you that that prophecy that I just read in Isaiah, the 13th chapter, is definitely coming to pass. So this is an article that I have from um, uh, All White News and Analysis. Now, it's headline, U.S. blockade of Russia equal to declaration of war, Senator now, this is from last Monday, October the 1st, okay? So it says, head of the Russian Senate's Information Policy Committee says the U.S. attempts to block Russia's trade would amount to a declaration of war. All right? Commenting on the U.S. Inter internal secretary's idea of impeding Russia's energy trade through a blockade, Alexei Pushkov told a U.S. blockade of Russia would be equal to a declaration of war on the international law Russia Today reported. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the different uh, uh, nations or countries, you know, using different strategies to, to basically um, stop their enemy from gaining power. And in this situation here, it would be U.S., you know, the U.S. blocking the different uh, uh, trade for Russia. And let's say that them doing that, that would be a declaration of war. So this is, you know, the Lord mustering the host of the battle. He's the ones gathering the nation's armies. Okay. Um, another article I have here is, uh, <clears throat> this is from um, Politico. All right. And this is from... Uh, Last Tuesday, the 2nd 
So like I said, over a successive number of days within the last week, all right, it has been different reports coming out that's relating to the prophecy. All right, manifesting itself. It says tensions rise on the South China Sea. Okay. Uh, so let's read this here. <clears throat> tensions rise on the South China Sea after a near miss of warships. Uh, it says China accused the United States of ignoring its sovereignty Tuesday after an American warship sailed near islands claimed by Beijing in the disputed South China Sea further rattling relations between the countries after weeks of escalating military tensions, writes the Washington Post. Says a Chinese destroyer came within yards of the U.S. Navy ship Sunday, compelling it to switch direction and what American official, officials called an unsafe and, and unprofessional clash. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so it says, following up on Tuesday, China condemned the U.S. for conducting the freedom of navigation operation via Reuters. OK, um, so 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 this is the burden of Babylon. This is the burden of America. So far, every article is dealing with Russia. All right. Saying that, you know, the U.S. blocking this is, is a trade is a declaration of war. Here it is now, China saying that it violated its international waters by being in its uh, 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 space, okay? And that's causing clashes and tensions between them, okay? So this is the burden of Babylon. All the different militaries gathered together to fight each other and eventually come against America, all right? <clears throat> now, this is an article here from Express, and it's headline, uh, World War Three. U.S. warned Russia and Iran of major mistake as they vowed to take on troops. All right, this is from Wednesday, October 3rd, 2018. See, every, every day something is happening, man. Every day prophecy is being fulfilled, okay? So it says Russia has delivered four advanced missile defense systems along with radars and support vehicles to Syria, despite the Trump administration warning the move is a major mistake that will embolden Iran and escalate the Middle East conflict. All right. So once again, I'm going to read the prophecies. All right. This is Isaiah the 13th chapter. All right, verse 4, it says, The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people. We, all right, it says, A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. So all these nations are eventually going to come together, man. All right? And, 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 and most, of these nations are, most of these nations are going to come together to fight America. All right? It says, The Lord of hosts must risk the host of the battle. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the future of the U.S., man. And this is the future of all these nations, okay? All these nations, all right? Um, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh. All right, all right. Come near nations. All right. So this is uh, Isaiah 34 and 1. It says, Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. And this is the uh, the the ultimate reason for the Lord gathering these these nations together in the first place, because right now here on the earth, you know they're fighting each other for uh, sovereignty and rulership in the world in the earth, but ultimately it's the heavenly Father, you know, bringing them together, or, um, orchestrating the thoughts in their minds to come together to fight and have conflicts, so He can have them all in one spot to slaughter and destroy them, man. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to go here. Now, this is from today's date, October the 10th. All right. And this is basically the, you know, the different news, uh, you know, reports relating to, you know, relating to Iran, the United States, Russia and the upcoming wars. All right. You have one article uh, from Haaretz 
This is uh, the real issue behind the downing of the Russian plane. Uh, let's see. Here we go. World War Three fears. Iranian general vows to destroy Israel in furious attack. All right. Uh, and that's from the Express. Now here from the Daily Star, it says Star Wars. U.S. plans for hypersonic defense to shoot Russian missiles down from space. Which is another reason why Trump said that he wanted to make a space force. Which we know ultimately that space force is to fight uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels. But it's also a way for uh, you know, the U.S. to gain an advantage on his enemies in the earth. Okay? That's the pride of Esau. Right? Uh, let's see. Right here, uh, Mike Pence, and that's from the, now this is from the Wall Street Journal. Mike Pence announces Cold War II. Okay, so it's definitely a buildup of nuclear weapons in the earth, man. Okay. Uh, it's the U.S. using force to sell its LNG to the world. U.S.-China trade war weaponizes liquefied natural gas. Uh... Let's see. Here is uh, Iran. All right. This is from where uh, the article uh, Iran lobs ballistic missiles at Iraq and Syria. So we're already seeing these different you know, nations in the middle of uh, war and conflict with each other. OK. That's from uh, War is Boring. Uh, Nathan Yahoo plans to discuss with Putin Iran's military presence in Syria. Okay, uh, <clears throat> IMF says U.S. sanctions have pushed Iran's economy into recession, meaning what? That Iran is going to have to get involved into the war to make money because in this world, wars <clears throat> are a big racket, you know, to bring uh, money, especially to the international bankers and the central banks. Okay. And this is what the so-called white man wants. He wants everything centralized under his rulership through the new monetary system. Okay? All right. It says uh, S-400 missile deal. India reasserts independent foreign policy. <clears throat> um, have cyber threats surpassed terrorism and nuclear war? Iran parliament passes counter-terror finance bill. So this is what we're dealing with. Um... You know, multiple clashes in the Middle East, you know, different wars, okay? But it's all the uh, Spirit of the Lord, okay? So this is back in Isaiah 34 and 3. It says, Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And meaning the different militaries of the earth, their armies, they're, you know, they're going to be destroyed by Yahweh Bashmi Shai. It says, and all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. That's the nuclear missiles. When they drop, they're going to make that mushroom cloud. All right. It says, and all their hosts shall fall down, hosts meaning armies, as the leaf falleth off from the vine, and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom, which is the English uh, uh, translation for the Hebrew word Adawan, which means red, which is the uh, the uh, biblical name for you so-called Caucasians or white people in the earth. All right. It says, and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So you are cursed people that the Lord is going to judge for your wickedness. OK. So Russia's going to fall. England's going to fall. America's going to fall. All these countries, Edomite countries and these other heathen countries, Africa, you know, China, you know, North Korea, and the Iran, you're all going to fall with uh, Edom, man. All right? Because the Lord has judged you. All right? <clears throat> and that's what these, um, these uh, you know, the coming together of these different armies is about, man. Okay? But uh, with that, I'm going to end it there. You know, I'm going to give all praise going on to going on to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakaq Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. This has been GMS News and Prophecy. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.